This is a Morse code uh, practice keyer that uh, I made out of uh, two components. Uh, I wanted to learn Morse code and I wanted a little portable unit that I could just carry with me anytime and that was small that I could put in my pocket. And uh, this is made out of a keychain uh, keychain uh, tone generator, which is a tuner used for tuning stringed instruments. You can buy these off the internet for six or seven dollars. Uh, also, you can buy them at uh, most music stores. And uh, it's nice because it already has the 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 buzzer or the speaker and the uh, the tone generator. Uh, and, a, and a switch already built into it and the only thing that you need to do is add some kind of switch on the outside uh, so that you can uh, make the key in motion. Uh, and so what I did is added this uh, micro switch which uh, I called my Spongebob switch because it kind of looks like Spongebob and um, uh, I used this uh, this kind of switch because uh, it's kind of like a Morse code key and uh, you can use it this way and you can use it this way if you want and the way this works is you press this button and normally that would turn on the tone but because I have the uh, speaker going through this switch it will not make a tone until I press the, the switch down and so once, uh, once this is on then you can just use the switch and uh, you can adjust the volume which comes out of this speaker holes by just holding it in your palm so you can uh, leave it loud or you can muffle it and you can use it with your thumb uh, or you can use it more like a keyer and uh, one other trick that I, I uh, kind of learned on this is sometimes this key will not uh, bounce back. The switch will not bounce back with enough force and so you can take a rubber band and uh, wrap it underneath there, a smaller rubber band. <laughs> uh, wrap it underneath and you get a better you get a better bounce from the switch. Um, and so uh, a very useful little unit. It helps me uh, practice learning Morse code and uh, all I did was opened up the case, one screw, remove one screw here that removes the battery cover and underneath the battery cover there's two screws there you remove those and then this part of the case comes off. I took the case off, the speaker is in this half, I unsoldered one wire to the speaker and uh, brought it outside the case by uh, cutting a little hole in the side of the case, brought that wire outside the case and then I soldered another one in its place to the speaker and brought that outside and then soldered those two ends to the uh, contact uh, contacts on the switch and very simple operation and uh, I'll show you, I'll take it apart now And here's the, the two screws that you have to remove to remove the other part of the case. Once that's loose, remove the case, watch the screws because they'll fall out. And inside we have the battery. Underneath the battery is the uh, oscillator circuit that sends the signal to the speaker and the speaker has these two contacts. There's two uh, wires going from the circuit board. One goes to the speaker on this side and then this one here will go here and what you do is uh, unsolder the wire that's going here to the speaker, bring it outside, 
and then solder another wire in its place and then bring the other end of that one outside. And then the only other thing that you have to do is drill two holes uh, for the bolts that will hold the, uh, the switch to the cover. And once you replace it, then bring the wires outside and solder one. It doesn't really matter which contact, uh, which wire goes where, but solder one to this contact, the other to this contact. And that's it.